As we get into 2023, I want to talk about how to best navigate the energy in this time-space reality. We're being led inside. We're being led into a different perspective, a higher perspective, a higher frequency perspective that's going to allow you to start to see your reality from a completely different lens. Just the other night, I was communicating with my Pleiadian guide, and she was showing me as far as locality goes, there is no location for them. They are simply a higher frequency. They are a higher dimensional field and they just exist everywhere. Now, we tend to perceive them from a locality, you know, as a specific place, a specific point in time. And that's because that energy is filtered through our body, which is vibrating at a lower frequency. And we see it from the lens of the third or sometimes fourth dimensional perspective. So we'll see that energy materializes craft, spaceships, um, things like that. And that's from our perspective. But from an energetic perspective, there is a non-locality feature or characteristic to it. So they are simply everywhere. So when we're trying to connect with these higher frequency energies, we don't have to really think in terms of a place or a time. We think in terms of a frequency. And as we move through 2023, we're going to be more directed into that type of thinking. Now, when we look around and we see our reality, I see the ground, I see my desk, my computer, and things like that. These things don't really exist. They are mere manifestations or representations of ideas that are that are inherent within our programming. Okay, they are ideas that a thought manifests because this energy is interpreted as an object or as a person or as a situation. And these frequencies bounce off us and they trigger these programs and these memories and these objects and these types of situations simply appear. There is truly no locality to our truth, to our energetic makeup. We just simply exist. Now, We've constructed these bodies and manifested these bodies so we can create a sense of locality, a sense of time and space. Now, as we move through 2023, I want you to bring your awareness back to the fact that this is all just a hologram. This is all just a, a matrix. I've used that term. I've seen that term used before. Um, this is a electromagnetic grid. Okay. And this grid allows different frequencies to kind of coalesce and cohere and energize so that it can be interpreted. And we're the ones that are actually interpreting this energy. We're actually creating these forms via thought. So for example, um, a frequency moves through us or activates and our brain will kind of put it through a set of filters or a set of memories or a set of intuitive connections and create some sort of a reality in this electromagnetic grid, some sort of an object. Okay. That's how this works. Think of it like almost like an etch a sketch or a live 3D hologram, whatever, however you want to think about it. That's what this reality is. So when you look around at the ground, looking around at your objects and things, they don't really exist. It's all simply light, like a holodeck. That's a great way to describe it. Um, the Enterprise of Star Trek, if you've watched Star Trek. Um, these are photons that are being moved electromagnetically into position at different rates of speed to create manifested illusion of an object, okay? And these are all created by thought. So as we work through our dense emotions, we tend to create dense thought forms. And these thought forms tend to manifest with a heavier type of an energy um, or an energy that really is not in resonance with our light, our divine light frequency, our higher frequencies. That gives rise to polarities. Okay. So when we're experiencing this heaviness, this denseness, we know that our attention is flowing, our energy is flowing into that experience and it is slowing down because it's encountering density or it's encountering resistance. And that is a function of this universe. It's a polarity. We can't experience our light unless we have something to play it off of. 
So therefore we, as these creators, conscious or sometimes unconscious creators, will manifest darkness, experiences of darkness, so that we can experience the light. That is what this universe is all about. Outside of this universe, there is no time, there is no space, there is no reality as we know it. There just simply is. It's just a state of presence, a state of now. Always, continuously, no beginning, no end. So we create this universe and we create it with the help of higher frequency consciousnesses, which is us, offshoots of us, aspects of us, create the gravity, create the planets, create the stars to be able to slow the light down, the consciousness down, the frequency down to a point where it can be seen, felt, touched, tasted. Okay. As an example, you know, we have the five senses here. So when we're here creating, a lot of times we're creating unconsciously because we're um, in a forgetful situation. We don't remember that we are infinite beings of light. Okay. We believe what our five senses are telling us. So we tend to create based off of programming. And that's because our mind likes to live in the past or it likes to live in the future. It gets caught up in the timeline. When we do that, we get out of the present moment. That present moment is really the portal or the gateway to your infinite being because that only resides in a place of now, the now moment. There is no past. There is no future. So we get caught up in the programming and think that we're in this reality that has this timeline and that we're exposed to we're supposed to experience sequences of events and we get lost. We get lost because think about it. If you're walking down a path and you're seeing surroundings that don't look familiar, you're going to start to feel like you're lost. You're going to forget really that the path doesn't exist or that you created the path for the experience. That's the separation from the real you, from your infinite energy, your high frequency you, multidimensional you. Okay. So, the more we get into this and the more we separate from that, the more real this reality becomes. So let's get back to 2023. We're going to start to really embody the fact or the truth that none of this is real. We are having experiences here so that we can experience our light and actually see the truth of who we are. And we need this backdrop of darkness to be able to do that. So remember that the darkness is being created by the light so that you can find yourself and come back to yourself. And we can help to bring awareness to that reality by remembering that none of this is real. That was one of the most profound things my dad told me when he was sick before he passed. He said, Mark, none of this is real. Okay. Okay. He was in a state of dementia. He had, um, he was, his health was failing and he was starting to get to the point where he was going to transition, but he'd have moments of clarity. And one of those was when he would, he said to me that none of this is real and none of this is real. It is just all a holographic matrix. And you can think about when, you know, when you die, you're really just flicking that switch and shutting off the electricity and the whole hologram disappears okay so that's what we're experiencing now is this hologram and our thoughts affect that based on the electrical charge that goes out into the field and that electrical charge is based upon the programming our programming affects that frequency of that charge and it affects how that charge manifests which in turn affects how we experience that and what we feel so when we could realize that none of it is real, it's just an experience so that we can experience our light and see it as brightly as possible, as high frequency as possible by giving it the polarity of the darkness, all of a sudden the way we navigate this reality starts to change. We start to let go of the anxieties, the stresses of the past, the anxieties of the potential future. 
and we start to get present, we start to get within our body. We start to really focus on this incredible biological machine that we created, that we manifested to navigate this electromagnetic grid. It's like being in a car, trying to drive the car, but not knowing where all the switches are. Okay, you didn't familiarize yourself with the car. You're not going to have the same kind of holistic experience as if you were to completely familiarize yourself with it and know where all the controls are, know how the car handled and all those kind of things. So we get back into the body, we bring awareness to the body. And as we do that, we become more present with the body. We become one with the body. We become one with the mind as we slow the mind down and get it in sync with the heart and with the breath. We start to have brain coherence. We start to have coherence between the mind, the body, and the spirit. And that in turn gets us into the present. What happens is being here in this physical body allows you to perceive a reality that really starts to dissolve. It starts to, to feel less real because you're bringing forward something from a higher dimension that hasn't existed here. So this reality starts to loosen its grip. You're less attached to it. And when you start to feel that, you start to really be able to make changes, make changes to that reality so that you can experience more fully the divine light that you are. You start to be able to breathe into existence experiences. And you start to be able to navigate those experiences from the state of awareness, not the state of programming. Not being controlled by your programming and being the passenger or the victim in the experience. You start to be able to navigate the experience from the perspective of the controller or the driver of the car. Think of this as an avatar. And you start to be able to have experiences from that perspective, knowing that what your mind might have perceived as bad is an opportunity for you to further explore your light, to further awaken to your light, to further experience your light right here. You see, in a reality of no polarity, the now moment, the stillness, the presence of our higher self, the multidimensional aspect of us, that opportunity really doesn't exist. Again, that's why this reality was created, to be able to experience that. And when we land here and we get caught up in the programming, we get caught up in the five senses, thinking that that's all there is, whatever we can experience with our five senses. We get cut off with that, and now experiences become good or they become bad. And that's how we judge our reality. That's how we become victims. And that's how we further slow down our light, the vibration of our light. And the situations and circumstances we find ourselves in become even more real. And we tend to attract more of those. But when we can get more present, we can breathe and get aware of the body, bring more awareness to the body, reconnect and become whole. We can invite in more of our higher self steps down into this body, starts to vibrate through it and find its home or integrate into the space that we've created by becoming present. And now we start to change the external reality. It starts to vibrate at a higher frequency because we're integrating our light here and our body is vibrating at a higher frequency. And now life truly becomes a playground. And we stop looking at it as so finite and real. And we start to see it or experience it as magical, as an experience, as a way to further expand consciousness, as a way to further discover our light, who we truly are, by using this magnificent electromagnetic hologram to be able to do that as a tool, which is what it has been designed to do. So when we think about our higher self, we think about our star guides. Even my dad, after he passed, my communication with him, my mom, my grandparents, and others, we realize that that's all us. It's all our 
consciousness vibrating at different states. And we're truly awakening to it. Now, if we choose to, we can reflect that energy out into this reality. And it's a lot easier to do that when we realize that this reality is not so finite, is not so fixed, not so rigid. It's really pliable in consciousness. Higher frequency consciousness makes that so, makes it pliable. So again, think of this reality as something that can be manipulated, that can be changed, that can be created on the fly as you get more present and fill that space within your body with your high frequency energy, your multidimensional energy. When we can bring that energy down here and integrate it, the multidimensional reality will start to manifest outside of us. And then we can, with conscious choosing, choose to experience different aspects of us right here and now in the present moment, such as my Pleiadian guide. I could communicate with her knowing that I don't have to envision her in a specific location at a specific time. I could tap into her frequency. And then I can make a choice to experience her in any way I choose. If I want to see a craft, I could see a craft. If I want to communicate telepathically, I could communicate telepathically. Remember, it's the consciousness that is in control. It's your awareness that brings that forward. And it's your choice that allows you to manipulate this electromagnetic grid and manifest these frequencies in any way you choose. But you need to be aware of that. So again, I'm going to say it again. In 2023, this reality we're experiencing, think of it as being less rigid. Think of it as being more pliable. Think of it as you being in control of what manifests. Now, do you want to be in control with awareness? Or do you want to allow your ego or your programming, your subconscious programming to control the denseness, the density um, of that reality, of this electromagnetic reality? That is a choice. And the more you do the work, the more you create the space, the shadow work, the energy healing work, get into your body using the breath work, spend time in meditation, get present. You are allowing yourself to ground more of your higher frequency consciousness. You're bringing awareness, more awareness of it forward. And you're starting to take control as to how these energies manifest. And that's why we're here. There really isn't any other reason. When we do that, we're in coherence with the planet. Raising the frequency of the planet, raising the frequency of the solar system and the entire universe. And we flow in that flow state when we can bring that consciousness down, anchor it really, and bring the awareness of that forward. We can get into that flow and be in sync with the rest of the universe. That gets us out of resistance. That puts us on the path with our soul purpose, our intended soul journey. The reason we came here to experience the awakening. The awakening of who we really are the multidimensional you. Watch this video next. There's some really cool things in there. This is, I know, an interesting video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, if you guys comment on it, I'd love to hear from you. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, maybe we'll try to do some more of these if uh, if the response is good. So I'd like to hear from you. We'll talk soon. Thank you.